Sveiki and welcome back to your irregular Latvian lesson. Did you know that Latvia is on the 57th north parallel? This of course means that winters are cold, dark and a little bit boring, especially if you are a farmer, which until not too recently most of Latvians were. Fortunately, hundreds of years ago, Latvian farmers already had some fun remedies for that endless winter boredom. Behold, Tekatas, Latvian style trick or treating. And with Ziemas Svatki Christmas, a very important Tekatas time coming up, we need to take a closer look at how to get you ready. Let's go! Halloween? Then you should move to Latvia, because we have Halloween all the time, from Martini, the 10th of November, till Metani, the 6th of February. Iešana Tekatas, or going Tekatas, is like trick-or-treating, but better. First, it is not for children, but adults. Children can come, but only if they can keep up. Second, it too is a huge costume party, where everybody dresses up as whatever zvars, animal or nezvars, creature or an animal they desire. And third, yes, chakatas do go from house to house, but instead of simply taking your candy and leaving, they're going to burst into your home, yes, all three or thirty of them, and ask for edients, food, alus, beer, and depending on what the occasion is, do things to you. By which I mean they will perform rituals which can best be summed up into the term sacred comedy improv, where the main characters of the Tjakatas parade will perform sketches, including the members of the household, to check how good you've been this year and spank you with branches if necessary. Depending on where in Latvia you are, Tekatas can have different names. Tekatas is most popular in Kurzeme, but in Zemgale you would hear Budeli, Kaladnieki in Latgale, or the very widespread Iešana Chiganos, going in gypsy mode, from the word Chigans, a gypsy an umbrella term in Latvian for the Romani people. The time period between Martini and Metteni is considered to be Gada Tumsha Pose, the dark side of the year, seen in a dual vision as opposed to spring-summer where everything is alive and blooms, autumn-winter belongs to the dead, the strange and the other. The masking tradition of Tekatas therefore is a manifestation of this other, be it the dead, the supernatural or the foreign. The aim of these manifestations is to protect, purge and to revitalize, but scholars agree that the Tekatas masks also make make for a very interesting study of Latvian mentality in relation to foreignness, especially cultural, where for example the most popular mask has traditionally been the aforementioned Chigans, which leads us to believe that this other was close enough to Latvians that they felt confident replicating the aesthetic and mannerisms of the Romani people. Although a recent sociological study has shown that Latvians also have some trouble distinguishing the Romani people from Romanians who live in Romania. But that's a problem for another day. The rules, masks and activities of the Tjakatas change, as each of the autumn winter festivals has a particular purpose. The most diverse mask parade is on Ziemassvatki Christmas, or Ziemassaugrieži, the winter solstice, which actually is a couple of days before the Christian Christmas. Here you're likely to meet people, animals and supernatural creatures. As it is the Garaka and Tumshaka nachts, the longest and darkest night of the year, it is important to make a lot of truaksnis, noise, to scare all the bad spirits and dark forces away, bring anything that can be played, banged or otherwise used for making noise, be it a pan, a pan, cuttles, a pot or any other household item. And it is a good idea too to learn some Christmas songs. What did you expect? It's Latvia, of course we're going to be singing. And no, not jingle bells, something more like 
Aina ma māmiņa laid mani iekšā, ja kallā dū, kallā dū, Čekata sadbrauca ar vezumiņu, se kallā dū, kallā dū. Which means, hey mother of the house, let us in. Kallā dū, kallā dū, the Čekatas have come in an entire cart. Kallā dū, kallā dū. And kallā dū here is a word that is very typical of Latvian Christmas songs. Like in other folk songs, you'd have Trallala or Ligo for Jāņi, Kaladu is Christmas in Latvia. If that sounds interesting, you might want to check out the Latvian pop folk girl group called Tautumeitas, literally the daughters of the people, but I would translate their name as Latvian girls, who do very interesting updates on traditional Latvian folk songs and have recently released a Christmas video for the song Guli Guli or Sleep Sleep, which draws inspiration from the song I just taught you. And in the video, you'll see many interesting takes on traditional Latvian Tjakatas masks. Which brings me to the main big question of the video. What should I dress up as? I am glad you asked. The choice is enormous. But there's some things you should know. First, you shouldn't buy, but make your mask, preferably from things you already have in your house, like old clothes turned inside out, or household items like a broom, an axe. Be creative. Second, you must not be recognized. This is not girl Halloween as seen in Mean Girls the movie. If you get recognized in your mask, it not only means huge failure, but also your fertility rituals will not be effective. And third, every mask not only looks unique, but also represents certain characteristics, good and bad, of people or these supernatural things. I'll take you through some ideas using the Latvian internet and the Masku Gramata, the book of masks by Maya Zacheste. The first big group are socialas maskas or the social masks where you dress up as other people. Here cross-dressing is not only okay but encouraged. We call it ritualized transvestisms. Also take these masks with a grain of salt. Traditional Latvians were not too concerned with political correctness. Chigani, gypsies. Here the only rules are be colorful, use a lot of scarves, and if you can find some way to tell the future, even better. Next, Ubax, a beggar. To pull this off, let's be honest, all of us have had those days when we have pulled off the Ubax slash homeless look effortlessly. So channel your inner lockdown self. Next, Reeds which is a widespread, although now slightly derogatory way to say a Jewish person, the more politically correct term is ebreis. To pull this costume off, the tip that we get is to bring huge bag or box of useless stuff that the Jeets is trying always to sell. Professions too have become popular choices, such as arts, the doctor, or skurstenslautis, the chimney sweep who would then ask the girls if they need their chimney sweeped. Don't raise your eyebrows, it's all part of the sacred fertility rituals. Another well-loved cross-dressing duo is Garasieva, the tall woman, which represents Mother Earth, and Mazais Vīriņš, the little man, which with its big head and small body represents the most fertile part of the man. There's also Pardabiskas maskas, supernatural masks, Ragana, the witch, although here the representation is more of a village witch, but you have watched the irregular Latvian video on witches, you know that you can also dress up as the very beautiful and interesting Nakts Ragana, the night witch. Valns, the devil, and Dzīvais Mironis, the living dead, which I particularly like because this is a mask you can do both as two people and if you're very good at carpentry, you could attempt to do it solo with this great construction. Then we have the priekšmetu maskas or the object masks like sluota, a broom, will bring cleanliness or gruas, a basket, will bring prosperity. Siena chupa, haystack for fertility or if you want to bring joy and good times to everyone, spalmanis us siena kaudzes, 
a music player on the haystack. And of course, the most popular, Zvaro maskas, animal masks. Latsis, the bear, made using codes turned inside out, symbolizes laziness. And traditionally, he would be wrapped in peas and showing little boys how to steal those peas. I'm not sure where this tradition has come from. If anybody knows, write it down in the comments. And also, Latsis could show you how to flirt with girls and sleep with them. But despite his shortcomings, Latsis is a popular mask because with his rukshana growling, he can scare all the bad spirits away from every corner and under every bed in your house. Similarly with Aziz, the male goat, who with his long ragi horns can also nudge the baddies away. The Vilks, Wolf and Kaza, the goat, or sometimes Aita, the sheep, form a symbolic duo representing the night and the day. They would perform a ruatalia, a game in front of everybody where the wolf would chase the goat, representing the fight between the good and evil. Zerve, the crane, another popular mask, represents wisdom. Its most important task is to Iaknapt, peck you with its long knabis beak. The Zerve costume requires wizard levels of carpentry because the beak is supposed to move as you pull a string. If you are not able to pull that off, don't worry. An alternative is to take a slota, a broomstick, tie it to your back and put a boot on it. And finally, if you want to be the most popular one at the party, you should dress up as Nave, death. Because Latvians believe that if you dance with Nave or Navite, the small, cute, tiny little death, you will ensure yourself good fortune for the next year and survive until next Christmas. So to become Nave, to make yourself white and scary and however you see death, but don't forget your dancing shoes. Un nu vis. Now you know more about the awesome Latvian Christmas tradition that is Jacketus. It really would be great if you got to experience that for yourself. In some regions of Latvia, this tradition is still going very strong. So there's your chance. In my opinion, Tacitus and their characters make for a very interesting, aesthetically different space for Christmas. Why not take bits and pieces of it and bring it to your celebration? There are these and so many more masks to choose from. If you'd like me to show you how to make one of these masks, let me know in the comments. It might turn out absolutely horrible, but we will have fun doing it. Patreons, we are continuing learning Latvian Prievardi, prepositions, pa and uz this time so don't forget to check out your extra lesson available now and thank you so much for supporting my channel priecīgus ziemas svētkus merry christmas un laimīgu jauno 2022 gadu happy new year 2022 i'm now off to italy to meet the irregular latvian team for christmas and new year's celebrations if you're interested in our travels make sure to follow any of us on instagram we'll probably post a lot while we're there but in any case thanks for watching my channel and i will see you next year bye